this is a video that I've been wanting to make for some time. So back a while ago, the UK government announced that they would be scanning the internet for fun and profit. So yes, on the 1st of November 2022, it was published. So basically, the NCSC is the National Cyber Security Center of the UK. And for those who don't know, I am from the UK, so this does kind of affect me. So basically, ages ago, in 1st of November 2016, the NCSE, the National Cyber Security Center, a part of GCHQ, announced that they would be scanning the UK internet space for common vulnerabilities. Now, I've been reading into this quite a lot over the last like two months before making this video. And it's, I don't really understand the data or the metrics that they wanted to get. So let's have a look at this. The key paragraph. One thing that is missing in cybersecurity is an unbiased data and evidence. How does this not make you, how are you the sole keeper of this data? Okay. Many of the active defense measures are intended to generate useful data that will help us understand much better the reality of cyber attacks and the efficacy of various defenses will put in place over the coming years. So is this saying that they're going to look at all the internet traffic like they haven't been already doing probably because they <laughs> need to know where the terrorists are? This is a really weird way of putting it so they've been saying they've been put publishing their acd program uh so this is like their countermeasures that they put in place so like let's say if fake or email phishing websites they'll publish a report that will go through there's these steps like mail checker web checker stuff like that and it's like okay Cool. and like protective dns that makes perfect sense obviously if you have a dns server that drops certain requests to websites that you know are malicious um but the one thing that i do not like about this is the lack of transparency that is coming from the uk government on this because in their initial ones they would be saying said that they would be releasing the emma scripts uh, if I have a look for NSC, uh, yeah. So somewhere I can't, I can't remember where it was. They would be publishing the NSC scripts that they would be running, and if people don't know what NSC is, so NSC and map is basically MMAP scripting engine. So MMAP has a scripting engine, which you can write scripts in to do basic checks and know if something is vulnerable to it. So for example, you make a request to a HTTP server. There's a header in the server that gives away its version. And you know that that Apache version or whatever, Nginx version is vulnerable to this sort of attack. So it's just an easier way for you to get that information without having to run two recon scans. Um, so let's look at the GitHub page for the uh, yeah for the UK NCSC. So this is a verified account. This is verified. This is actual the National Cyber Security Center um, one. And if we have a look, so they have a one called SME. This was the link of the package. So then. Add files to upload. Ollie at NCSE. Thank you, Ollie. What is this? Oh, it's just a. It's just a README to basically say how we're going to be doing this. Nice. Okay. So they haven't published any of the MAT scripting engines that they've been running. Let's have a look. Oh, it's the only branch that's running. Great. Okay, let's look at the issues. <laughs> Okay, last five, last commit five months ago. Has this project been abandoned? Well, you said you were going to fix it. 
List of NSEs. Are you planning on offering a link and distributing these NSEs somewhere? Because you guys said it. The UK government says this is how we're going to move ahead with this. So let's have a look what this guy posted. Oh, wow. Okay. So this NCC group who doesn't look like they have any sort of open connection to the UK government. Nice. Ease. NCC group. Doesn't look like it has any connection to the actual UK government. But they have some Nmap scripts in. That's a link to the external. Okay. Yeah. That's a link to the external NCC group NSCs. They changed the content of the link of end time. IMO, a service like this, to seek compile vetted NSC scripts. Yes, exactly. Agreed, this is very confusing. Great initiative, but without centrally storing or managing these scripts, what's the point? Exactly. So they've come out and said that they will be scanning the UK internet space. You will be having these IP addresses hit your server to find vulnerabilities. And yeah, no transparency. Yes, they might have these reports that are like the pages and pages long. All right, let's have, let's have a look on how many pages are fifty-eight pages. You're expecting us to go through fifty-eight pages. Yeah, thirteen thousand, like. This year we took down 13,000. Okay, so let's have a look at, let's have a look what this has been doing. So it's took down 113,000 phishing URLs. Phishing is quite commonly detected. A 12,000 web shells. That's, that's pretty good, web shells. Yeah, fake shops, obviously just to try and get the money. Fake pharmacies, 3,386. And then web injected malware. Let me see a little bit more. Yep. So like shop shopping site skimmers. Okay. Malware distribution URLs. That's not a lot of malware. Like crypto miner C2s. Like phishing was again the most prevalent attack, but that's because it's the most easiest to trick people. That's why it is already already there. So yeah, we do we're doing it, but there's no transparency. Like if I'm hosting or if I'm a small medium business in the UK and I am hosting a web server and hosting uh details and let's say an IP address from this uh this comes out and then says, Yep, yeah, this is what we've been doing, this is how we've been doing it. Oh, and we found, by the way, that your uh, Outlook server from 2010 is obviously vulnerable to all these attacks. Yeah. Okay, but that's because I know I'm running this vulnerable somewhere, software. And do I care as a business? No, just because you're telling me about something that I already know. But I get. I get the, the concept is great. Okay. This is a win for the UK government because they can take the active steps in, let's say, don't allow this request to go to this server. Maybe, maybe if they have the ISP's permissions, do so. But are we there yet? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, like encourage system, like encouraging system owners. I think maybe allowing or sh having a better way to enable a business to be more security conscious will be better than scanning everything. But I understand. But what do you guys think of this? Do you think it's 
basically the morale of the well the the actual permission of the UK government to say that they are the internet police basically <laughs> that they can come into your internet space scan you for vulnerabilities and then serve you a big warning that says hey by the way that outlook server from 2010 that you knew was vulnerable is vulnerable to stuff but you just don't want to get it fixed because you don't want to pay to get it updated it's like it's of course it is of course it is but i don't know what this fun and profit is really but yeah i do get the data science part yeah understand love vulnerability security key yeah but i just don't know because like in in their uh in their first initial blog post when they were talking about it they talk about fixing the underlying infrastructure protocols so this is more about ddos attacks and stuff like that like they mentioned bgp down here so like filtering dns okay that that's a pretty good thing but then how about you just tell people to run pie hole or some sort of thing and then have a centrally stored list that the uk government gives out okay you haven't done that you haven't even offered the mmat scripts that you said you were going to do okay help the government get better okay yeah but I would like to get everyone's thoughts on this. I know it's been two months since they've um, released this details. However, saying you're transparent in your scanning crystals and not releasing the actual MMAT scripts that you are using. But they will be at the Cyber UK in Belfast in next April. But I have no idea what details they will provide. But if you like this one, like this little rant, give it a like. If not, hit the other button. But I would like to get your comments and please subscribe.